Hi everybody, it's great to be back. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and these are the cards that I'll be using this week. The Transparent Tarot and the Everyday Witch because of the Halloween theme that I'm busy with and because of the Witches series. I hope you are enjoying the Witches series. It is not talking about the Witches um, altogether it is about the environment about what's going on today in in the in general and also we'll be doing um, recipes and we'll, uh, on budget cooking and health that is where the what we are doing in the witches series and if you would like to get into it yourself then these are the two books this one is The Workplace and Spells by Marla Brooks. We did the series on her oracle card, the Witch's Oracle Cards. And this one is by TJ Perkins, The Healthy Witch. And it's great fun. Georgina and I are having great fun and laughs. And she's bringing also things from the outside, from other cultures, other beliefs, other things that she does. And I basically do... Um, the healing side with the tarot and Reiki and meditation. She does meditation as well, but where it, it's it's really um, something that you can sit down, grab a cuppa, and sit in peace and just listen to the conversation. And if you buy the books yourself, then you can bring yourself back into the strength as well. But it's also great fun to exchange this with somebody else and we'll be starting um, the workshops in Georgina and I um, in January so if you would like to join um, uh, in with the workshop it will be 150 euros um, for m maximum of 10 to 11 uh, episodes um, that's how long and it will be once a week and we'll get together um, in Zoom. I think that's the best option. You can switch your camera off and listen or interact by just talking. So I'm looking forward to that but this month it's an exciting month because I'll be making something um, uh, creatively and also something that you can eat. So I'm combining two things made out of one so keep your eyes peeled for that video which is coming up uh, which I will be making will also have uh, a person coming in doing reflexology uh, on the face or the hands and we also will hopefully will have Jan in to do her video on the gemstones so I hope you will follow the um, Witches series uh, because we discuss colors of the candles there, uh, oils, um, fragrances, incense, etc. etc. It's absolutely lovely, and um, you most probably have already seen the video on the candles, making candles at home or buying them scented and colored, and we go into discussion about that as well. That is with Tracy uh, Castledine. Go and have a look on her Facebook uh, Facebook page, um, uh, Love Lizzie. Uh, so go and have a look. But I hope you will enjoy this video for you for your for yourself, of course, this week, because this reading is going to be from the fifth of October to the eleventh, and time does fly. And please click on the uh, the bell, subscribe, and click on the bell on all then you be notified when I go live um, or when new videos are loaded up. I'm so busy with making this series that I sometimes get really exhausted and can't make the um, uh, Friday night live so I'm sorry uh, for last night I didn't go live but I will be going live tonight so I hope you will join me there take care and in and have a lovely week and also there's a video um, under updates uh, for setting your settings after you've subscribed and hit that bell 
then you will be notified. Otherwise, you won't be notified. Okay, take care, God bless, and stay safe. And please give me the thumbs up. Ciao, ciao. Hi, Aquarius. This is your reading for this week. We start off with the Three of Pentacles. You have a recognition. You might be getting a promotion. Somebody might have an eye on you as well and saying, I want that person in my business. Okay, and then we've got something sticking out here. That's the Ace of Swords. You could be meeting a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. If you are in a judicial situation, then you uh, get victory. Because the Ace of Swords means victory. Victory is yours. They recognize that you are telling the truth. And you might be receiving money. Look at him offering money or offering a helping hand. But you might also start a, stud, uh, a study or do a workshop, something in gaining knowledge. Um, besides that, this could be new communication with somebody that you haven't talked to for a while. As the swords stand for communication, uh, wisdom, um, judicial issues and situations, um, Honesty, clarity, so victory is yours if you are in a judicial issue or situation, okay? Um, not only that, but you will get what you deserve as he's offering money. Somebody might be offering you money, okay? And then we have the hermits, the hermits. You could be also um, meeting up with a Virgo as the hermit represents Virgo. So you might have a judicial is issue or an argument or situation about recognition or money or a race at work with a Virgo. Uh, okay, You are the Aquarius. You could be meeting an Aquarius like I said, but this is versa Aquarius Virgo. So you might be taking time out to think about it because the hermit is also somebody that retreats and takes time out to meditate and evaluate and uh, contemplate and evaluate the situation. So somebody might be making you an offer, it, the truth might be coming out, or, or um, somebody might just want to cut away. You see, I think that could be you cutting away from society to go and think if the offer is correct or not. Do you see what I mean? Can you see the story? Somebody might be offering you something because they recognize you. Um, you've got recognition or they might recognize that you're telling the truth. You might be asking for a rice and you said, well, if I'm not going to get a rice, I'm going to cut the contract. I'm not going to work here anymore. And they have given you an offer and I think you're going to retreat and think about it and evaluate what the offer is. Okay, If not, you might be taking time out uh, to think about it. You might be going on a holiday or do meditation or contemplation. Then we have the uh, Seven of Cups. You want your dreams to be recognized. So perhaps um, you've got recognition because you want to start a new study because that is what the swords, Ace of Swords also means and somebody's helping you or giving you the money to pay for this new study that is perhaps one of your dreams or goals you want to enhance your wi wisdom okay let's have a look I'm d giving two cards for each day, but I'm uh, layering them in the way they come out. Right, let's have a look. This one is first. You've got the Ace of Wands, so you could be meeting up with an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo. The Ace of uh, Wands means new beginnings, a new job, uh, a new passion, uh, also being very creative, something that you might be very creative in. Um, might You might start off doing that, 
like turning a hobby into a career. You might want to have to learn to specialize in this hobby. Okay, so you might follow a course to enhance your wisdom so that this will bring its return, its dividends, as they say. Okay, so there's a new beginning, and I think it's a new job, perhaps a hobby turning into a career. Perhaps you might start up your own business with this money that or offer that's coming in. Right, you might even become a partner. Right. So, because you've got the sword here, which also means um, uh, official uh, start, official papers. You could be signing up a contract and partnering up with a Virgo, uh, or uh, because you've, you're the swords, but also with a Gemini or Libra. And Libra is too, and is balancing. So, you might become m forming a partnership. That was a dream. Perhaps a new passion, like I said. Okay, Aquarius, you're quite fiery at the moment. Although the the energy at this moment is um, gentle and a little bit slower, but you're finding that you are in balance, and you want to take action and you want to start desperately something new, and I think it's going to be good for you. So long you take time out and evaluate every single move that you do and keep clarity okay keep it clear be transparent and to sum it up you've got the phoenix rising out of the ashes okay the phoenix that is um the judgment card so you've got the judgment card here as well and you're bringing everything together you're spreading your wings this is a new beginning. You've got loads of new beginnings. You've got the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and now the Judgment card. Your dreams are coming true. Your dreams are being fulfilled. You've taken the right action. Your dreams are coming true. Wow. Awesome. Now, I'm going to pull a card from the Everyday Witch just to see what the overall energy is for you. Right, let's have a look. And you have the devil. So there could be a Capricorn. That could be a Capricorn around you, or they might recognize you or give you recognition. With the card of the devil, this is not only the Capricorn, but this is also, um, there you are, you can see it. It could be somebody that is holding on to you, or manipulating you, or bossing you about, and you that's why you want to break free. You're dreaming of breaking free and being your own boss. But like I said, somebody might be offering you money, and you see here, the devil is holding you money. If it sounds too good to be true, listen to your intuition. Don't go into this partnership without sorting out the legalities, okay? Get advice, professional advice on how to take action, how to protect yourself, because you are the phoenix rising from the ashes. It's okay to want something, but you have to be certain that you everything is above, um, in, out in the open, okay? You need clarity, you need honesty, and you need to do it officially. So don't just go in there and say, yes, I'll become a partner. Sign up, protect yourself. Don't let anybody manipulate you or boss you. The devil also means that this person could be um, addicted to money, could be addicted to something else, or has bad habits. Like, they will put in the money, but they won't put in the, the work. They will boss you about, and you can take all the responsibility and do the work. A partnership should be um, even, equality, equilibrium. <coughs> so everybody should give the same. It's a 50-50, okay? And otherwise you have to sort out that you get 60% or 70% and they get 25 So talk it out and make sure that you will not go into... Um, a partnership 
that somebody else is manipulating or bossing because they think they have the power perhaps the money okay they might have an, uh, a bad habit like uh, a, an addiction to something else but be aware this is a warning so if anybody is manipulating you or bossing you walk away break away and be your own person you don't have to be somebody else um, s somebody else's slave okay um, so that is a warning I'm not m because your reading is absolutely positive but it's saying be your own boss if you're starting up the business get the legalities done and take action okay if somebody if this is a judicial situation um, that somebody has done you wrong okay then you will have victory uh, because you are taking action and you can spread your wings because you've got a second chance at this or a new beginning this could be a new beginning or a second chance okay so don't let it go don't give up okay persevere persevere okay now I'm just trying oh. these are beautiful cards now come on jump out please give me a card for Aquarius give me a card for Aquarius right this is it inner gifts it's a beautiful uh, cave with pink crystal so it's your time to shine I think use your inner gifts also your inner wisdom listen to your intuition especially with regards to the warning talents you may have overlooked are in the process of be being uncovered so somebody could be um, saying you know I need you I want you to stay and you said no I'm dreaming big and it's good you're dreaming big and I want to spread my wings but get official uh, advice before you do okay you've got more talents perhaps they're jealous that could be the bad habit jealousy of your talents they are often to be found only after you've looked high and low sifting out the pearls of wisdom from all the disappointments and fears so your disappointment or your fears could be your devil confront them get help seek help like if you fear we've all got a shadow side and a light side so don't fear your shadow side okay your talents might be hidden uh, it could be that you might uh, have given let's say you or somebody else around you has given up drinking and they are scared of having a glass of wine confront it seek help medical help okay then in a moment of wonder as you let out a contented sigh it has happened the gift that was always meant for you has appeared you can do it with help you can do anything so if you do have a bad habit um, then seek help that could be also but if you're joining up uh, with somebody and forming a partnership and you are scared that they will be the manipulator be the boss in the partnership don't get things sorted out legally and don't be scared um, you've learned from the past you know how to step away now it is your time to deal with your fears right you've got a second chance use it spread your wings don't be scared everybody falls down but then you have to stand up dust yourself off and carry on and the cards are saying you can fulfill your dreams you've got a second chance coming round so just be aware of the warnings don't be scared of yourself that could be your uh, your devil okay that you're scared of yourself that you have fear I'm not going to succeed if you are going to think like that then you won't you have to take action get clarity 
and um, stand up for yourself. Um, we all fall down because life is up and down. Um, but, you know, in order to go a step forward, we have to sometimes take a step back and slow down, seek help, seek advice, uh, perhaps uh, financial uh, support. Uh, you can get this from a partner or parents or an institution because you've got the sword here. You, perhaps you might need a loan to open up your business. Perhaps you might need to not only um, show your certificates that you are capable of doing this, perhaps you might uh, have to adjust. If you're not good at bookkeeping, then get a bookkeeper. Okay, that's also an institution, and that's what the swords stand for. There's always an answer. Don't fall into the old patterns. That's perhaps your fears as well, and that is a bad habit as well. So just look at yourself, write down what your talents are, and how you can use them, and seek advice on how to bring the ideas, because that's the swords as well, in to practice and that is the ones so i hope you have enjoyed this reading aquarius take care and have a beautiful week and believe in yourself you can do it please give us the thumbs up and please share and like stay safe and be blessed mm -hmm.